But these days, not all tutoring takes place outside school. We're in Manchester at Trinity High. They're using tutors in school. They're paid for by the pupil premium given to schools to help disadvantaged children receive extra help. In other words, public money is being used to finance tutors. The school is working with a not-for-profit organisation called the Tutor Trust. Nick Bent is one of the directors. The Tutor Trust was founded by Abigail Shapiro and I because we felt there was a real gap in the market for a a charity that would democratise tuition. In, in this country, there are uh, millions of kids whose parents are able to hire a private tutor for them, but equally there are millions of other children who desperately need some extra academic inputs if they're going to achieve their potential, and their parents could never afford a tutor, and their teachers are very dedicated, but their teachers don't have time to give that one-to-one -one attention to every child in the class. And schools really struggle to find good tutors at a fair price um, in a way that's easy to arrange. The Tutor Trust employs undergraduates from Manchester University to tutor maths and English. They're paid £12 per hour. I spoke to one tutor who's teaching GCSE maths at the school. My name is Naveen Rizvi. I am a student at the University of Manchester studying politics, philosophy and economics and I joined Trust in September 2012. So you're not actually doing maths at university? No, I'm not. That's the beauty of this um, job, that you can teach a subject that you're really passionate about regardless of you're doing it at university or not. With the Tutor Trust, the tutors are told what to focus on and their results are closely monitored by the teachers. A big plus for a programme that's state-funded, because teacher and tutor are working hand-in-hand -hand at no cost to the parents. Uh, my name's Liam. I'm a student at Trinity High, and I'm getting help with maths through the tutors. So can you just tell me about uh, what Liam couldn't do in February when he, you first got him as a student? He couldn't get rid of the mental block in his mind about maths. He couldn't get rid of the perception that it was quite difficult. Liam, would you agree with that? Would you say that yeah. it was an issue of confidence, really? Yeah. yeah. And, I don't know, you feel more better speaking to, like, a tutor than sometimes a teacher. Say if a teacher asks you a question in class, it's, like, all the pressure on you. Hmm. But they ask you to do, and you have, like, people that you know in, like, a small group, then you're not really bothered if you get it wrong or not. So, in February, when you got these three students... They were touching E and D grades? Um, one of my boys was definitely on a C. The other one was scratching an F. What's your name? Milosh. So you were on an F? Yeah. And what was the problem? I think it was just my confidence. I, f I felt like I'm not good enough to do it. I used to not really care about it as much, but when I actually like spoke to Miss and about jobs and like going into college and further education, like it just boosted up my confidence and like actually wanted me to target something and achieve something. In February, Milosh was on an F for his GCSE maths, but with his tutor he started making progress. We'll find out later if he continues to do so after three months of tuition. Julian Nichols is the deputy head of Trinity High. I asked him whether there was a danger that the tutors were doing the work of the teachers. It doesn't substitute, you know, the first uh, and most important intervention that we make in learning is a well-taught lesson, you know, well-planned and well-delivered. And the feedback that comes from that lesson is critical, you know, having well-marked books and comments to students. But, as I say, um, if you have a class of 16 or 20, it's much more difficult to give the immediate feedback and to address the immediate concerns. And, you know, being 15 and 16-year-old students, quite often they don't like to admit their own frailties uh, or lack of understanding to a whole group by putting a hand up, whereas in a small group with a tutor, uh, they realise that they can have a conversation about their work. The Tutor Trust has worked with 35 schools across Manchester, and plans to roll out this model in other parts of the country. And then Milosh, tutored by an undergraduate from the Tutor Trust. We've been tracking his progress over the last three months. He's moved from an F grade in February to a D in March. And now? Milosh, do you think, and Naveen, do you think that he could get that C for his GCSE? I think he could get that C on the condition that 
he actually a revises. So he goes home and revises through what we've done. Milosh, what do you think uh, when you take your GCSE? What are you aiming for? Hopefully, because of maths, I'll get a C. Because of your tuition? Yeah, of course. His school has kept a close eye on the tuition and agreed that he might just get that all-important C grade for his GCSE maths exam. His results are out in August. So it looks as if, with the right tutor, with the right qualifications, someone who knows the curriculum and plans the lessons, tuition can help. And our experts believe it works best as part of a complete teaching strategy that includes the school.